Okay, so I've already moisturized my face with some argan oil. I'm um, gonna let that just sit on my face for like 30 minutes. And then I also sprayed a little bit of um, the aloe water mist on my face just to get my skin nice and ready. Um, so now, just to prep my eyelids, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. I'll leave everything in the description below if you didn't get to catch like, what it looks like. But I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my finger I'm gonna pat them onto my lid and then whatever is left on my fingers. Uh, a tip that I have for you guys is if you ever get the the lines here, like from your foundation, you know, like right here, if you put a little bit of this eyeshadow primer like onto the lines here, it'll prevent your foundation from creasing in that area. And it's cool because this is the anti-aging formula, so I, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm protecting myself against wrinkles. But from here, just blend out your eyelids. So we're gonna go ahead and take our foundation. We just pooped. This is the Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. I'm just gonna dot it all over my face. You wanna use one that is, um, I don't like that sound. Or you're just gonna take a color that's quite darker than your natural skin color just because we want to make ourselves tan and also I fake tanned you really can't even tell um, just so that I looked a little bit more Arabian looking so you want to make your face match the rest of your body oh, I'm just gonna put a little bit Okay, so to make us a little bit more tan and to contour a little bit, I'm going to take a darker foundation and we're just going to put it along the cheekbones, and my temples. Um, and when you're blending, you don't want to think about dragging or swiping. You want to think more about just balancing or just pressing because if you drag it or swipe it, you're going to just wipe all the product away and you'd rather just blend it more into your skin. So next we're going to go ahead and use our concealer. So I like to take some onto a brush and we're just going to swipe it underneath the eye and the sides of the nose. Just want to brighten up underneath my eyes and the center of our face a little bit. This is also going to help to make our nose a little bit slimmer, like Princess Jasmine in the cartoon. Also, I'm going to take a little bit onto my chin too, just to brighten up in this area. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this peachy cream blush. I actually can't tell you, I don't know what the brand is, it's so old. But you can honestly just use a lipstick. Like if you have a lipstick this color, you could totally just use that and just dab in a little bit onto the apples of my cheeks. Just to warm up the face and make us look a little bit more like a Disney princess. Now I'm just gonna take some bronzer and go over the areas that we put the darker foundation. I'm using the Dark Chocolate Bronzer from Too Faced. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that bronzer and I'm taking like a little flat brush and I'm just gonna try to carve out my cheeks a little bit more since Jasmine had a very harsh shaped face. So just go ahead and suck in and you're gonna draw a line kind of from your ear down to the corners of your mouth. I'm actually going to do a little bit on the sides of my eyes just to warm them up a little bit underneath your lip to make your bottom lip look a little bit fuller. Along the sides of the nose, underneath, just to make them look a little bit slimmer since she had a very um, like L-shaped nose. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and take like a peachy tone blush. This is L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Innocent Blush. And you wanna use something more like on the peach side versus like a pink because the pink will just take away from like the bronzy tan that we have going on for Jasmine. Oh, well, Princess Jasmine's eyelids are very, they're just like a gray taupey brown. So I'm gonna be mixing a bunch of different colors to try to get that look. First one I'm gonna try and dip into, please don't judge me. I think we all have makeup that looks like this. But it's gonna be, I just really like the gray, so I kept it for all these years. This really gray color. I'm gonna then take this color right here. There are all these colors in matte because she doesn't really have shimmer on her eyelid, obviously, because she's a cartoon. But I'm gonna be taking some of this. Topi gray brown, this very light. This is called Velvet Revolver in the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. It's light taupe, and then this is just going all over our eyelids. So now I'm just gonna take this yellowy cream color. I don't wanna use a white, just because we're tan and I feel like a white would definitely be too harsh. So you wanna take like a yellowy cream color and a clean blending brush. And you're just gonna go ahead and clean up the crease a little bit and blending it up into your brow bone. Now we're gonna take some rich brown color on a little smaller brush. And we're just gonna go right into the crease of your eye. And we're gonna take a thicker brush just to blend it out and not make it as harsh. So the key to this is just keep blending it. And if we all have different eyelid shapes, my eyelid, the actual lid itself is a little bit more curved and round. If you don't have that, then you can always just kind of create that with your shadow and just kind of go back in as much as you need. Going back in with the same yellowy cream color just to blend. Again, the key is blending. It's the difference between looking like a princess and looking like you're on a billboard for a gentleman's club. So you really want to blend everything out. I want to add some more warmth to this look. So I'm actually, you can use whatever you have if you already have an orange or red toned eyeshadow, use that. I don't, I don't feel like spending money to buy one. So I'm actually using this blush, um, slash illuminator. I'm gonna take the red side a little bit, this orange red, and I'm just gonna add it into the crease just to warm it up a little bit. I'm just gonna go back in blend just the edges you don't want to actually be blending into the crease because then you're just going to be swiping away all the hard work we just did you just want to blend where the red meets the brow bone kind of there we go so nice i want to before we move on to the cat eye i want to move on to the eyebrows so jasmine's eyebrows are thick like okay. thick with two c's so do not be afraid to go really big because she's a cartoon so she's got pretty bold eyebrows i don't use black even if you have black hair even if you're using a wig i wouldn't go for a black i'm using like a very dark brown this actually isn't um an eyebrow product I'm trying to save money where i can so this is actually um, a brown gel eyeliner from elf so it's super cheap it's in the shade coffee so i use this as an eyeliner an eyebrow pomade thing i take it on my brush i wipe off whatever excess I have, and I'm just gonna go in. And I like to start at the bottom of my eyebrow and draw a line. So don't start out small and then you just keep adding and adding. So I drew out a little bit where the corner of my eye is. Now I'm just gonna go feather it towards the front of my eyebrow. Awesome. And now I'm just gonna come up on the top. They're pretty thick right now, which is fine because Jasmine always has like these angry, thick eyebrows. So it's okay. Once we get the eyeliner on and the eyelashes, it'll be fine. I promise. I'm going to take black eyeliner and we're going to go right into the wet 
tissue of the eye. I'm just gonna take any black eyeshadow and you can actually go a little bit, if your eyes are sensitive, don't do it, but it helps if you take that black eyeshadow and you actually put it into like right over where you put the eyeliner, it helps it from smudging. And from there, I'm also gonna drag it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Extending the lower lash line. This will help us, this kind of gives us like a template for when we do our winged eyeliner. We're gonna take our liquid eyeliner. I like to start right here at the edge. Drag it in. You want to have like a swooping motion. You don't just want to have it straight across. You really want to have it start here. Just curve down a little bit and then swoop up because that's kind of how her cartoon eyeball looks a little bit. Next, we're going to move on to the lips because you want your eyeliner to completely dry before you take like an eyelash curler to it. Because if you, your eyeliner is wet and you put your eyelash curler on it, you might squish it and smudge it. So Jasmine actually, any Disney princess, none of them really have like fat lips. You know, it's the trend. I love it, but like their eyes are mostly the focus because they've got giant cartoon eyes. So don't try not to overline them. If you need to make them more symmetrical, that's fine, but don't. It hurts me because I love doing it, but just focus on creating like a Cupid's bow and then just do your natural lip line for the bottom. This lip color, there's a mixing of bunch of colors, but that's just to show you to just use what you have. If you feel like you already have a lipstick that matches this all perfectly, then go ahead and use it. I don't, I had to look at her picture cartoon a bunch of times and just keep mixing until I find something similar. So I'm using, this is by Mary Kay. It's called Hibiscus and it's this, it's really ratchet, but it's this purple fuchsia color all over. So I want to make it a little bit more red. So I'm going to take my red lip liner and I'm just going to come around the edges. I'm trying not to make my lips bigger. From there, I'm going to make it a little bit more orangey because she has a little bit more orange to it. This is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. And I don't want to get this dirty. So I'm going to just squeeze the product out and just use my finger. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just gonna add one more thing, one more thing, just to lighten it a little bit. If you like this color as it is, you can leave it. I just wanted to get a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna be taking NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Buenos Aires, I think. Is that how you say it? And again, I'm just using my finger because I don't wanna mess up the applicator dabbing right there. Not too much just because I still like that oranginess. So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. So I did not put mascara on the bottom lashes. Just because when you put mascara on the bottom lashes, it, what it does is it opens up your eyes and it makes your eyes wider this way. And we don't want that because Jasmine's eyes are more cat eye and they're elongated and we want them more this way. So, don't do it. Just don't do it. Then. The last thing we're doing is we're just adding some thick eyelashes just to add a little oomph to the look. So, I'm actually taking Ardell Demi Wispies. I like them for this look because the lashes are more concentrated in the outer corner and we want that because we want more of an elongated, exotic looking eye. So what I did was I actually cut them kind of in half mostly because I only want the lash to be on this part of my eye because we really want to accentuate that side. So I put them on tweezers. I'm just gonna scoot a little closer to my mirror. And then I like to take my tweezers and just squish the fake eyelashes with my real eyelashes just to make sure that they're like blending and sticking together. There we go. So you can see a little bit of a difference between this eye and this eye. This one just looks a little bit more finished cartoony because we got the big eyelash, but it's not distracting from the cat eye shape because we focused it on this part of your eye. Okay guys, so that is the makeup. We finished, we're done. I'm just gonna go put the wig on so you can just see the whole thing come together. So here's the wig. 
I happened to misplace my blue headband. I'm sorry, it's not 100% accurate. So what I did instead was I have a couple necklaces. So I think it'd be cute. So I know this isn't 100% accurate to the movie, at least the makeup is, that's all that matters. So I have this necklace here. I could either take it here. This actually, I feel like, kind of looks cool. I feel like this is something Princess Jasmine would have in her jewelry box. I also have this headband. I've had these for years, but maybe something like this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I actually think it goes with it. It's fine. But um, anyways, I hope you like this look. This is my Princess Jasmine cartoon, the original Jasmine look. Please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you actually end up trying this look. Um, and also let me know what other princesses you'd like to see from me. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. But I still got it on camera. <gasps> <laughs> what is happening? I feel like she darker though. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs>